Jonah Shacknight was tearful as he took the witness stand in a civil suit today. His brother accused in the infamous death of Rebecca Zahal. Our tenured reporter Steve Fiorina joins us live. And Steve, this case has perplexed San Diegans for more than six years. It has the death of, Zahal, of uh, Shacknight's girlfriend off the balcony of his mansion. She was tied up and hanged. No criminal charges, but now a civil suit is underway here at the Hall of Justice. You and Rebecca were... Monday, July 11, 2011, was a devastating day for Jonah Shacknai. His six-year-old son, Max, was critically injured in a fall from their second floor landing. The best case scenario if Max survived was that he would never walk or talk again. He and his ex-wife, Dina, were shattered by the prognosis. She was hysterical, sort of yelling at Dr. Peterson, it's not true, you're wrong, you're wrong. He phoned home to his girlfriend, Rebecca Zahau, who had been caring for the boy when he fell that day at the famed Spreckles Mansion in Coronado. I was pretty upset, um, and I basically was crying, and I told Rebecca what Dr. Peterson had said uh, in a voice message and asked her to call me. But she never returned his call. Instead, his brother Adam was on the line the next morning. He asked me if I was sitting down, uh, and I went to sit down, and he told me that Rebecca had taken her life. Rebecca Zahau was found nude, bound, gagged, and hanging from a balcony. She had been upset at the boy's injuries, and her death ruled a suicide. But her family believes she was murdered and filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Adam Shacknai, who was staying in the guest house and cut her down as he called 911. In your entire life when you interacted with Adam, did you ever see him ever do anything violent or aggressive to any other human being? Never. His testimony complete. The jury has gone home for a long weekend. On Monday, the medical examiner, followed by some other expert witnesses. Live downtown, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.